Hello, this is a review of the Scotch Titanium Nonstick Scissors. Now, I think these scissors work great. I mean, they would do what they expect. They cut well, they're nonstick, and they're great for lefties or righties, um, and they just work. Um, and while we take a look at these in a little bit more detail, we'll show some contrast compared to some other scissor styles that you've probably seen out there, and um, the usual office scissors that seems like everybody has. So let's go and look at some pros and cons and see how well they work. So first of all, I like that it's for people who are right-handed or left-handed. It's identical in shape for that. Um, I can put it on my left hand, um, although I personally cut with my right hand. Um, but uh, for the video, I'll show you with the left. Um, but compare that to other scissors like this one here that has contoured for specifically right-handers. So while I can put it in, um, it's not contouring to my hand as much uh, with the left side. So these are a little bit more universal from, from that perspective. Um, and your usual office scissors uh, work fine in both hands as well. So um, how they cut, let's look at a few things. One thing I particularly like is that the blade is in full contact easily as you make the full, the full scissors swipe. It's very tight together. So whereas some other scissors are rather loose in between, this is always in great contact. And for me, what that buys me is I can cut thin things with them, um, which is mostly normally what I need to do with scissors is cut paper or plastic or small, you know, small thin things. And when I end up with a pair of scissors that isn't for paper as well, I end up with something like this. And the problem is, is there's a, there's a gap. Let's see if I can get some light here and zoom in. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a gap between the two blades. I mean, it's it's anything that swings this loosely, right? Isn't isn't actually that tightly bound together. I mean, this thing, you know, isn't isn't swinging at all. Sometimes they swing just because they're loose, um, but you can see it tightens up right about here and here. So maybe at the full distance, it's not as tight at the the base. Whereas this one seems tight almost the whole length and I have to keep applying pressure to make it close. Now to me that means I can easily cut paper. You know, they just cut really well. And I rather like that, that they cut nice and smoothly from that, whereas paper, scissors like this, like if you're not, I mean, yes, to be fair, I mean, they'll, they'll cut the paper, but I've been in the kitchen enough times trying to cut open a bag of potato chips or something, and this thing just won't get at it because it's too thin. Um, I mean, you can always try to cut plastic, and this one, kind of, see how it twists the bag? This one twists the bag a bit more and almost barely doesn't cut through, whereas this one, I mean, granted, everything's going to squeeze the bag some, but this is making cleaner cuts um, of the bag. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's not going to matter to you, but anyone who's used scissors that weren't very tight, you keep looking at trying to tighten the nut, the nut on them to make them tighter, and you're to, and that's how you tighten up some pairs of scissors um, that are of higher quality. Uh, but I think you'll know what I'm saying if you've ever had that problem. Of course, paper scissors like this have always been awesome. That's one thing, you know, I... I like is they, they cut just as well as far as cutting paper. Now these cut fast um, because they're, they're, they're not as loose as these, right? These things are as loose as can be. This is somewhere in between, whereas it's fairly loose, but it's easy to keep cutting. Um, but at this one, because there's not as much back pressure on my hands, um, I'm tending to cut faster until I reach this point here in which they get a little bit tighter. Now this, what I like is, they seem to be uniformly tight. I'm not getting any tightness at any different length, whereas this one, I'll give you a loose, 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 really tight, really tight, really tight, and that causes me to cut awkwardly with these cheaper pair of scissors. Now with this, I like that it's nice and smooth. So if I'm cutting for crafts or anything important, it allows me to more precisely cut really easily. And it's like cutting butter and I get some control over that. Whereas these guys, I'm feeling like I'm going like this just because they're so loose. I mean, every, otherwise I'm entirely relying on the muscles in my hands without any f tension pushing back. Um, and these were in the middle um, and uneven. These, these were rather even. The rubber grip is comfortable enough. 
Um, it's way more comfortable than pure metal grips on, on these. Um, and is, I mean, honestly, these are pretty smooth. I mean, it's pl at least molded plastic um, on, on those. But these, these felt nice. Um, about the non-stick blades. Now, notice, if I angle it right, you can see that there is some crud on here, right? So there, there does, it does take some deposits of residue after I've been using these, and pro just because they're tight. Like, I can feel it. It's, it's a little gooey, like I've been cutting things that maybe tape or something like that. I mean, you can't help that at some point it is possible to deposit things on blades. Um, um, I mean, heck, your nonstick frying pans will get something on them, and you can go wash it off. Um, but there's not a lot, right? So what you're looking for with the nonstick blades is if you're cutting tape, you're like, darn it, it keeps sticking. You know, if I have something like this and it sticks to the blade too much, then I'm going to keep putting down and go pry off the thing that's stuck on there. This gives you a little bit more ability to just easily pop it off. Things don't get as stuck as you go. Um, that's that's the benefit of these particular blades. But don't make, uh, don't get too overexcited to expect that it's going to literally repel goo, right? I mean, I have evidence here that it's going to still get some goo, but I would expect that it's going to be easier to clean off. Um, and of course, I mean, it's going to be better than blades that don't, you know, have any protection other than just being, being metal, you know, as well. Um, you'll notice these blades have the exact same little bit of residue just along the edge from where it presses. Because if you think about it, if you're cutting tape or something like that, it is literally going to be pressing them between the two blades until it cuts. So you're just pushing the uh, tape residue onto the blade. Um, and this is going to be no different. Um, but I've never had a problem with these. They still feel smooth. Um, and hopefully if you go to clean them, you'll have a better, better success with them. So, I mean, what else can you say, right? They're a pair of scissors, they work well, but if your pet peeve like mine is, I hate scissors like this, they're as loose as can be, um, and don't have a nut that I can tighten myself, some better pairs of scissors definitely do. So please don't take this as mocking all scissors that look like this. Um, there's definitely better quality ones out there. Um, but if I had to buy over again, um, they're for different purposes. If I wanted to cut some paper a little more carefully, um, I might tend for these. But um, that's my review. Thank you for watching.